All right, well, here's some other responses that unfortunately didn't make it to my cell phone in time, but uh, I want to kind of honor. Somebody took the time to type these in and Twitter or Facebook them, and they're excellent, excellent responses to the questions that I posed to our group here, um, but to the whole of everyone who's involved today around um, symptoms, symptoms of soul neglect and soul health. So here's some of the ones that have been contributed from the uh, e-community uh, around this event. Some of the symptoms of soul neglect included the inability to handle stress. All right, I'm guessing that means the freak out factor is increasing. I know what that's like. Um, also, impatience, cynicism. I see that all the time, especially in ministry settings. We struggle with that. I suppose it's true in the marketplace as well. But cynicism, um, seeking passions elsewhere. That is an excellent one. Uh, a symptom of our soul when we've lost connection with God is, is temptation starts to turn our head a little bit more than it ordinarily might. And uh, we start looking for relief from pain because it's painful when we've lost that connection with God and life looks so dark. Uh, here's a response that we start to act like ungodly people uh, or lose a direction, lose direction of God's will. What is God calling me to and what am I supposed to do with that? Uh, oh, this is an excellent one, being robotic and on autopilot. I hear that a lot. Um, and that our outlook is negative. There's sort of a, a dark perspective that overshadows everything we're looking at. Uh, we lose joy, we become fearful, here's an indicator, and paralyzed from making decisions. That sense, it's not a discernment that's waiting on God in a, in a sort of a peaceful way, it's a in, impotence, I can't make this decision. Um, con being controlling, oh man, I hear that one all the time. We start to manipulate and, and control others. Uh, Self-reliance is another thing we can notice about ourselves when we've lost that sense of connection with God. Uh, lack of grace towards self and others, good selfishness, lack of authenticity, and depression. Depression actually needs a little bit of special treatment. I'm glad it came up here. Um, certainly, life looks dark and we can kind of start to spiral down when we've lost that connection with God. Um, but what I've learned is that uh, some people, they just have a chemical imbalance in their body that causes the symptoms of depression. And that just is treated medically and is you know, not an indicator of a neglected soul. But the, the tension for us is that I've learned that when our soul, because we're so interconnected, body, mind, soul, emotions, all that, when the soul has lost connection with God and the world starts to look dark and those symptoms of depression, of soul, ne soul neglect, do begin to look like depression, we can be in that state for, uh, doctors tell us, as little as three weeks. That's not very long when we, maybe from a season of soul neglect, have those symptoms of depression, but when it stays for as little as three weeks, it, your body says, okay, here's the new normal, and your body will start to chemically reinforce that depressed state. And therefore, even, even if you are not classically a clinically depressed person, if you've had a season of soul neglect that has lingered and persisted for a long time, it often needs to be dealt with on two levels at once, the medical side and the soul level, which obviously they're both connected, but I feel like it's very important for us to know that and be able to talk honestly about it because it would <laughs> seem like spiritual malpractice to say to someone who is in a true chemical depression, oh, you just need to take care of your soul. As true as that is, it's just not the whole picture. So those are some thoughts that were on depression or on uh, soul neglect, and let me quickly run through because these are usually more fun. Symptoms of a soul health, um, joy, peace, grace to others. A feeling that your steps are guided. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? Um, my sense of connection with God was really strong in a season when crisis drove me to pursue God each day. Yeah, the symptoms of a healthy soul are not about the circumstances always working out in your favor. God meets us everywhere. Um, another person wrote, a sense of connection is what a symptom, a connection probably, I'm guessing, to God and to others, and then just straight up... Uh, peace and joy. Those are the things available to us in connection with God. Great questions.